want to deal with the basics, getting people to have enough food is an incredible thing. And so all these companies that are taking the animal products, the milk, the eggs, the chicken, the beef, and actually coming up with a way of using largely plant-based materials, soy, peas, a variety of things, to make these things that are both cheaper, probably more healthy, uh, you know, less cruelty involved, um, less greenhouse gas emission. It's quite a phenomenal thing. I mean, people can be enthused for any of about five or six different reasons. Um, you know, I think it's a huge thing. And it's one of those things that will confound the pessimists because when they look out, they see this increased intensity of animal product consumption as part of increased income. As it should be, that's what people want. But the fact that innovation will give them the equivalent uh, without those negative effects at lower prices, I think it's a, uh, an amazing example of how just sort of linear projection misses what innovators look using uh, science uh, will be able to do. It's completely not part of the mainstream dialogue. Five years from now, as these products get out there, I think the whole view of uh, what agriculture needs to do, what the trajectory is there, will be a lot more positive because they'll see what the, the innovation will, will cause. You know, um, you make a very interesting point. One of our speakers tomorrow is Dan Gardner, who 